Mine problem in northeast Albania stems mainly from the 1999 Kosovo conflict and consequent NATO intervention. Unfortunate for the local rural population, the mines remained waiting after conflict ceased. The already poor remote areas and scarcely populated highlands became even more deserted. Many local paths leading from one remote village to the other were fast overgrown. Some inhabitants left homes as soon as they faced the harsh reality that times when they could freely move around these remote areas were suddenly gone by. Local families often suffered tragic losses when fatal mine accidents struck their relatives. Kelching Muhmete, at the age of 21, was surprised by mine while grazing livestock. His foot was blown away. Today, Shkelchim still lives with his parents and helps his father. Shkelchim can't find a steady job, although he attended a course for plumbers, but there's hardly any need for this profession in this part of the world. Institute for Rehabilitation of the Republic of Slovenia in Ljubljana, with support of ITF, treats mine victims from the region of Southeast Europe. Shkelchim visited the institute already four times for prosthesis, fitting and rehabilitation. Regina was playing in the home yard when a strange explosion cut through the air of Gerdet's village, a peaceful area near Albania's capital, Tirana. Grandmother grabbed Regina by the hand and they started running up the hill away from the deafening sounds of explosions. Moments later, a strong blast of explosion threw them on the floor. Pieces of exploding grenades damaged Regina's head and cut off her arm. In spite of the fact that Regina hasn't attended a number of classes due to many operations, she's still the best student in class. And her teddy bears and dolls aren't neglected. She uses one arm to take them and play with them just the same. ITF is a non-profit humanitarian organization. Donors are primarily state's governments, private or state-owned enterprises and smaller private businesses. Due to very effective work as well as financial transparency, the organization is entrusted with more and more donations each year. In mine actions, and especially in mine clearance, D-miners are as important as any other actor in the long and complex chain of a successful demining program. Their work is even more important when women prove they can be just as thorough, tough and hardworking as men in this harsh terrain work. Liliana Javeli began her successful work as a female D-miner with the Danish demining organization Dan Church Aid DCA as cleaning lady. So DCA proposed she takes a demining course. 
she successfully completed it and commenced an excellent demining work. ITF started its mine action program in Albania back in 2000 and successfully completed it at the end of 2009, together with its main partners, Albanian Mine Action Executive and Dan Church Aid. Ten years of hard work and substantial amounts of donations provided by generous donors have turned the mine affected and unusable land bushes, forests, plains, hills and mountains into areas which can again be used by the local population for their daily subsistence life. Once more they are able to visit each other freely, plant fruit trees, grow vegetables and crops, graze their livestock, scythe their plains, reap their scarce fields, start new small businesses and crafts. Residents of this harsh environment can once more live freely and with no restraints posed by the hidden killers, the landmines. Albania is free of mines, but it's still not safe from accidents caused by military ordnance. Tons and tons of old weapons and ammunition deposited in unsuitable storages await innocent victims. It was a quiet Saturday morning on March the 15th, 2008, when in Gerdets, a village on the outskirts of Tirana, a deafening explosion was heard. ITF shall focus its future activities on enhancing human security, thus tackling the challenges which threaten well-being of individuals and communities.